In the heart of Southeast Europe lies a gem that boasts one of the most magnificent coastlines on the continent, characterized by its vast expanse of over 1,000 islands adorning the Adriatic Sea. This is Croatia, a haven for those in pursuit of pristine waters and enchanting coastal towns, all set against a backdrop of historical significance due to its strategic position along the Adriatic coast. With a population hovering around 4 million people as of 2022, Croatia presents a predominantly homogeneous society where Croats make up the vast majority, complemented by minority groups including Serbs, Bosniaks, among others. The country has also gained international acclaim through the HBO series Game of Thrones, which showcased Croatia's diverse landscapes as the backdrop for the fictional land of Westeros. Noteworthy locations include the Fortress of Klis near Split, portraying the city of Marin with its dramatic scenery, and the historic city of Šibenik, which was transformed into Bravos, one of the free cities. Our exploration extends beyond these renowned locations. We're excited to show you Croatia's finest alongside more Game of Thrones filming sites throughout the country. Ready to start exploring? Let's get started. Located by the Adriatic Sea, Dubrovnik is a city known for its Mediterranean culture. It's famous for its old town, surrounded by large stone walls finished in the 16th century. The combination of its limestone streets, historical buildings, and the beautiful Adriatic Sea draws tons of visitors each year. As of 2021, the city had about 43,770 residents, but this number increases significantly with the influx of tourists, especially in the summer. Within the old town, a labyrinth of narrow, winding streets unfolds a history spanning centuries. Notable landmarks include the Rector's Palace, a 15th century architectural gem blending Gothic and Renaissance styles, now functioning as a museum, and the Sponza Palace, which has served various roles from a customs house to a mint and is presently a city archive. Straden, the main artery of the old town, teems with life, bordered by shops and eateries. Known also as Placa, this pedestrian street was established in the 13th century, but gained its present look in the 17th century after an earthquake necessitated rebuilding. The street showcases uniform historic buildings, crafted from polished limestone, creating a cohesive and refined aesthetic. Stretching approximately 300 meters, Straden was historically a marshy divide between two settlements, eventually filled and merged to establish Dubrovnik's core. Also situated in the old town is the Dubrovnik Cathedral, known officially as the Cathedral of the Assumption of the Virgin Mary. This cathedral, with its Baroque style, stands on grounds that have hosted several earlier cathedrals, dating back to a 7th century basilica and including one destroyed in the 1667 earthquake. Inside, visitors can appreciate impressive artwork, like a polyptych by the famous painter Titian. The cathedral also contains a treasury rich with relics, among them an item believed to be a fragment of the true cross. If you're familiar with Game of Thrones, then Dubrovnik's significance will surely excite you. This city was a key filming location for the series, serving as King's Landing, the capital of the Seven Kingdoms, from the second season onwards. Imagine stepping into the world of Westeros as we explore these sites. The walls of Dubrovnik also highlight the city's historical strategic importance. Stretching over 1,940 meters and built between the 12th and 17th centuries, these walls have survived numerous sieges including those during the Croatian War of Independence in the 1990s. Lovrijenac Fortress, 
towering on a 37-meter-high rock by the sea, is famed as the Red Keep in Game of Thrones. But its significance stretches back well before the series, built in just three months in the 11th century to counter a Venetian threat. A short ferry ride from Dubrovnik takes you to Lokrum Island, a nature reserve rich in legend, including stories of cursed monks and visits by Richard the Lionheart. It served as the backdrop for Karth in Game of Thrones. Visitors today can wander through the botanical gardens, showcasing exotic plants, or explore the ruins of a Benedictine monastery. The island is also known for its population of friendly peacocks introduced in the 19th century. For an unforgettable view of Dubrovnik and its surroundings, head up Mount Surd by cable car. Introduced in 1969 as the Adriatic region's first cable car, it faced destruction during the Croatian War of Independence. Rebuilt and relaunched in 2010, it has become a favorite attraction for many. At the summit, you're treated to sweeping views of the Old Town, the Adriatic Sea, and the Elephidi Islands. Var is the sunniest and longest island in the region, celebrated for its landscapes and crystal clear waters. The island's history spans back to the Neolithic era, with a rich legacy from the Greeks, Romans, and Venetians. The island also boasts a rich biodiversity, including the unique Var wall lizard. The tradition of sailing on Var dates back to when the ancient Greeks established Pharos, now known as Starigrad, in 384 BC, using the island as a vital naval base. This deep-rooted connection to the sea has made sailing and yachting popular activities here, driven by favorable winds, a mild climate, and stunning coastal scenery. Today, Var attracts sailing enthusiasts from around the globe, with numerous marinas and spots to anchor. Sailing around Var reveals hidden coves, pristine beaches, and historical sites, such as ancient Illyrian fortresses and the UNESCO-listed Stari Grad Plain, a cultural landscape that has remained nearly unchanged since first settled by the Ionian Greeks in the 4th century BC. A must-do while on Var is a boat trip to the Pakleni Islands, a beautiful collection of 20 islets and rocks lying in front of Var town. Despite the misleading translation as Hell's Islands, the name Pakleni actually comes from Paklina, the pine resin used in shipbuilding. These islands are celebrated for their clear waters, secluded beaches, and rich marine life, ideal for snorkeling and diving. The largest of these, Sveti Clement, hosts Palmajana, a renowned marina and botanical garden, a favorite among visitors for over a hundred years.
Found in the heart of Croatia's mountainous region, the expanse of nearly 300 square kilometers is home to the remarkable Plitvice Lakes National Park. This park is known for its 16 terraced lakes linked by waterfalls and streams. These lakes form a unified system constantly evolving due to natural cycles of building up and breaking down materials. The park's landscape is made of karst, a type of rock that dissolves in water, like limestone. This characteristic allows for the creation of natural barriers as travertine or tufa deposits build up. These barriers are shaped by the interaction of water, air, and living organisms, leading to the lakes we see today. As water moves from one lake to another, it carries calcium from the limestone. When this mixes with air and water life, it solidifies into travertine, forming natural dams. The lakes are fed by several small rivers and the larger Plitvica stream, which enters the highest lake. After flowing through the chain of lakes, the water leaves as the Karana River. The system of interconnected lakes is always changing. Natural cycles of material deposition and erosion constantly alter the landscape, leading to new waterfalls and the disappearance of old ones. This dynamic process keeps the park's scenery in a state of perpetual renewal. Plitvice Lakes National Park is celebrated not just for its geological formations and water systems, but also for its diverse array of plant and animal life. This natural setting, shaped by the network of interconnected lakes, provides a habitat for numerous unique and rare species. The Great Waterfall, also known as Veliki Slap, is one of the top attractions in Plitvice Lakes National Park. It's the highest waterfall in Croatia and serves as a dramatic end to the park's array of lakes and waterfalls. This waterfall stands out from the other waterfalls in Plitvice Lakes National Park. It's not formed by tufa barriers like the others, but by the Plitvice stream cascading over a cliff away from the park's main group of 16 lakes. The waterfall is roughly 78 meters tall and its beauty changes with the seasons. It's at its most striking in spring and autumn when the water flow is strongest. In the winter, it can freeze over, turning into an incredible ice display, while in summer, the spray from the falling water offers a refreshing mist. Plitvice Lakes is famous for the legend of the Black Queen, a story deeply woven into the creation of the park. This legend speaks of a time when the area was hit by a severe drought, leading the people to desperately seek rain. The Black Queen, a mythical entity, appeared and told everyone to confess their faults at the spring of life. Touched by their truthfulness, she called upon a massive storm that filled the dry land, giving birth to the lakes and waterfalls that define Plitvitz today. The first upper lake was named Proshchansko, symbolizing the lake's emergence as an answer to the people's prayers. This legend embeds a deeper cultural and spiritual significance into the park. Located on Croatia's Istrian Peninsula, Rovinj is a town famous for its pastel houses framing a picturesque harbor. Surrounded by the Adriatic Sea, it showcases a stunning display of Venetian architecture, a nod to its historical ties with the Venetian Republic. The heart of Rovin, the old town, sits on a small peninsula with its labyrinth of narrow streets bordered by medieval buildings. 
This area has a blend of Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque architectural styles. This old town is alive with art galleries, small shops, and a vibrant market, offering everything from fresh local produce to seafood. A fascinating piece of history is that the old town was once an island, which was connected to the mainland in the 18th century. The Church of St. Euphemia stands on a hill, offering a stunning view over Rovin. Built in the 18th century in the Baroque style, it honors St. Euphemia, the town's patron saint. Its bell tower, inspired by Venice's St. Mark's Campanile, provides amazing views of both the town and its coastline. Inside, the church houses a treasured relic of St. Euphemia, which, as legend has it, arrived in Rovin miraculously in the 13th century. For those looking to explore Rovignon bike, the town is ready with excellent cycling paths and bike rental options. Whether it's a relaxed ride along the scenic waterfront promenade or a more vigorous journey through the Istrian countryside's hills, cyclists of all preferences will find something to enjoy. Nearby, the Rovin archipelago consists of 14 islands and islets each boasting its own distinct beauty and rich biodiversity. Notably, St. Andrew's Island and St. Catherine's Island stand out for their vibrant greenery and pristine beaches. These islands, now part of a protected nature park, host a variety of plants and animals. Once the summer retreat for the town's noble families, these islands today attract visitors for day trips and explorations. Kruka National Park, situated in Croatia's southern region, covers a vast area of 142 square kilometers of amazing natural scenery. Named after the Kruka River, which flows through it, the park is famed for its stunning waterfalls and deep gorges. The landscape varies greatly, featuring karstic plateaus, limestone plains, and areas close to the sea, each supporting its own diverse ecosystems. Among the park's highlights are seven remarkable waterfalls, with Skradinsky Buck and Roshki Slap standing out. Skradinsky Buck is especially impressive, extending over 800 meters and boasting 17 cascades, with the tallest cascade reaching up to 45 meters. Visitors can explore this area via wooden walkways that offer up-close views of the water's power and beauty. Roshki Slap is known for its series of cascades and historic watermills, some of which have been restored to working order. This spot combines the thrill of rapids with the tranquility of calm waters, leading to a main waterfall that dramatically drops into the valley below. A key characteristic of Krika National Park is its travertine formations. These are created from limestone deposits left by mineral-rich waters over thousands of years forming natural barriers that result in the park's distinctive waterfalls and serene pools. The park boasts a diverse array of plant and animal life, making it a vital spot for biodiversity in Europe. It provides a home for over 800 plant species, including many that are found nowhere else. The Kruka River and its environment also support a rich variety of birds, fish, amphibians, and mammals. It also offers numerous trails that cater to all levels of hikers. These paths take you through dense forests over the park's characteristic karstic plateaus and along the scenic banks of the Kruka River. These trails, rich in history, were once trodden by Romans and later by the Knights Templar. 
Completing the experience are the boat trips along the Kruka River. These boat tours provide a memorable experience, showcasing the stunning waterfalls, verdant landscapes, and the wide array of wildlife. They also offer a peek into the park's history, gliding past old mills that harnessed the river's power to grind wheat and corn until the mid-20th century. Nestled between the slopes of Medvednica Mountain and the banks of the Sava River, Zagreb stands as Croatia's largest city, boasting a population of approximately 800,000 residents. Its historical roots stretch back to the Roman era, and it has proudly served as the nation's capital since 1845. The city's historic core, Upper Town, is celebrated for its medieval streets and architecture that date back to the 13th century. This area houses Zagreb's most famous landmarks such as the Stone Gate, St. Mark's Church, and the Lotershack Tower, alongside remnants of ancient city walls that hint at its past as a fortified town. Another highlight is the Zagreb Cathedral. It stands as Croatia's tallest structure and a key landmark. Originally constructed in the 11th century, it has faced destruction and reconstruction multiple times due to wars and natural disasters. Its present neo-Gothic form, featuring two prominent spires, dates back to the late 19th century, making it a visible marker from nearly any point in the city. Exploring Ban Jelacic Square, the heart of Zagreb, is a must. Named after Josip Jelacic, a revered figure in Croatian history, this central square has been Zagreb's focal point since the 17th century. It serves as a major public transportation nexus and is encircled by buildings steeped in history, along with a variety of shops, cafes, and restaurants. At the square's center stands the iconic statue of Banja Lacic, erected in 1866, marking a spot that has witnessed countless historical moments and transformations over the years. Not far from this central square, you'll find Dolak Market, the heart of Zagreb's daily commerce. Established in 1930, this open-air market bursts with a mix of colors, sounds, and smells. Here, vendors offer a broad selection of goods, from fresh fruits and vegetables to traditional Croatian foods and unique handmade crafts, making it a pivotal spot in the city's everyday life. Did you enjoy learning about Croatia? If so, hit the like button and subscribe for more. Don't forget to leave a comment sharing your favorite place. See you in the next video.